everybody in this video we are going to talk about mortgage rates we've seen a lot of volatility with mortgage rates over the last 12 months you know they started about this time last year at four percent got all the way up to seven now we're in the sixes so um on with us today is andy watson over at canvas credit union andy what's up in the mortgage world what's up in the interest rate world and what are we going to see this year yeah so it's been a roller coaster the past uh year year and a half now um so so when we're looking at these interest rates, the media is always a little bit delayed. And so what I mean by that is the Fed. The Fed's been talking about interest rates. That's how they control inflation. Um, so they've been messing with the Fed's funds rate, and they just recently increased it another quarter of a percent, 25 basis points. Um, so when we're looking at that, the media and everyone's saying, hey, interest rates are up. Well, the Fed funds rate is up, but mortgage rates don't always follow that. So mortgage rates are more following um, you know, people's appetite to buy these mortgages. So, so what's happening is, by the Fed doing their job, increasing the Fed funds rate, that's fighting inflation, and it's actually starting to work. So because of that, we're getting things under control, so we're gonna to start to see these interest rates start to come down. Now, this is important because when these interest rates start to come down, people can start to afford more and more of a home. So I think it's gonna create you know, an environment where it was last year, where these, uh, these homes are starting to sell for over ass pretty quick because all of a sudden that monthly payment's affordable again. So it's an interesting opportunity to maybe get in on the tail end here, get a home under contract. There may not be as com much competition. Let's get that house done. Let's get that house at a good price because I think as soon as these rates start to come down, we're starting to see, we're going to see these values start to increase pretty quick. We're seeing values go up already. And so um, at the first of the year, home values have been falling since April of last year. And just the last three months, we've seen the average sales price go up and we've seen the list to sales price ratio go up. So that just means buyers are paying closer to the asking price. So it's already happening where there's less negotiation power right now than there was through our winter market. And so, you know, if you're a buyer and you're saying, well, hey, Andy, you're telling me that rates are coming down, like, um, home values are going up. Like, why wouldn't I just wait until we get back to the fours? When's that going to happen? When, when, it, when are we going to be at a place where we were in the past? I can't promise you rates in the fours. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like we, we don't want to hold out. Like that's just not going to come and you're going to spend a lot of money on rent and, and just waiting around for an opportunity that's already passed. You know, a healthy market, we really see rates in the mid to low fives. That's okay. historically where you see them. Sure. The past few years, it's changed all of our perceptions of where rates should be. That's not really the truth. You know, historical markets, we should be you know, low fives. I think it's a very healthy market. Um, and if you wait for those lower rates, we have 10 conversations a day. That's what everybody's doing. So once that does happen, I think we're going to, you know, we already have short inventory, and that's just going to exacerbate it. Yeah, home, home prices are always based off supply and demand. And so right now, you know, there's a lot of homeowners. Um, I think 85% of homeowners are sitting at an interest rate below 4%. And so those people are reluctant to put their house up on the market. And so now we've got a shortage of supply. When there's a shortage of supply and then the demand of, you know, a lot of people right now are age 33. We've got this huge population of the average home buyer coming through right now. So population's high, there's renters, there's people who have to move. There's all these reasons that real estate transactions continue to happen. And so that demand is high and it's pushing the value of homes up. And so let's say, you know, I go in and uh, I buy a house today at 6.5% interest. What does this look like for me in the future to refinance that in six months or a year or two years from now? Yeah, I think there'll be a pretty good opportunity. Again, as we see inflation numbers keep coming down, then we'll start to see these interest rates come down. Um, you know, when I'm looking at a refinance, you're eligible to refinance. Typically, there's different variations of programs, but after six payments. Um, so when we see that and I look at a refinance, I like for that refinance to pay for itself, meaning the cost, the cost for the refinance to pay for itself within a year. Okay. And when you refinance, you skip that first payment again. So it's pretty easy to refi. Um, Great. So I think you're looking, the current program you get into should be pretty short term. Excellent. Are there any strategies buyers should be aware of right now to, you know, make the most of the mortgage market? Yeah, I mean, there's, if you're finding a home and you're looking at homes and it's been sitting on the market a little bit longer, you might have an opportunity for some seller concessions. That's not on every home. It is getting competitive again, so right. I don't want <laughs> <don't wanna> to put <laughs> yes. words in Cameron's mouth. But if there is an opportunity where the house has been sitting, yes, there might be some concessions. What we're really doing on these is, you know, let's sit down, let's take a minute. We're looking at the monthly payment because the monthly payment, that's what you pay every month. So as long as that's comfortable, then we're going to go ahead and back into a purchase price. And there's some things we can do to get creative to keep that monthly payment down, uh, whether if it's for the first five years or some other variations of that. 
There we go. So interest rates are coming down. That is going to drive up home values. So if you're looking to make a purchase this year, best time to do that is probably going to be right now for the lowest price on a home and then refinance later. So whatever that payment is, we can always get it down in the future based on what we're seeing right now in the markets. We do have this VIP buyer program that is going to take care of your appraisal costs. It's going to get you our love it or leave it program. It's going to get you a free home warranty, a lot of perks to our VIP home buying program. We'd love to chat with you about that right now. So shoot me a message at 303-501-2810. And if you want to kind of start the mortgage process, just get a feel for, you know, what are these payments going to look like? How much could I qualify for? Reach out to Andy. 303-915-2576. Thanks so much. Appreciate the time.